Hey guys, it's Tark with Cyclone FPV. Doing a real quick video on the uh, HTLRC Titan stack. Uh, we're actually talking about the flight controller itself right now. And uh, just something to try if you're having a gyro issue. Um, what I'd like you to do is, I'm gonna actually show you the board here. And let me zoom, let me zoom out a little bit. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. All right, so here we've got the board right here. And um, what I wanna do is, let's get to this point here. And I'll actually put the screen on and change it so let's see if we can do that all right let's do it this way instead so we've got the board plugged in right and what i want you to do first thing is i want you to make sure uh, and this is just for testing purposes right i cannot tell you what the problem is this is actually for one of our customers uh, that wrote me about this so i, I want to test it for him but this will be the easiest way to do it so go ahead and just plug it into your computer click connect right and um what i'd like you to do is i want you to go to your cli and i want you to type version make sure uh for this case i want you to run uh, this version here. So just see if you can go to 3.4 and I'm not sure with the new beta flight uh, updates What is the lowest they'll go on the omnibus, but let me check real quick. So let's see what the let's see what the uh, Lowest is we can go omnibus f4 All right, let's try that and then let's see so they're gonna let you oh, yeah, they're gonna let you go pretty low so uh, go to 3.4 um, And just do a uh, load firmware and then flash it real quick all right and uh, and then I want to try a couple things so this is the first thing we want to do. And then the next thing I'm going to want you to do is just go back into your CLI and set the defaults. And then let me know where you're at on your um, uh, gyro this, to let me know if it's working or not. Now, there has been some issues with um, uh, some Omnibus F4 firmware and uh, having to update to the uh, FW series. But I don't think it's going to apply here because I'm going to test it on this board and make sure first. And as long as we get it to work on this board without issue, then you can follow these same instructions. But let's just see what happens, okay? So we'll do this real quickly. Okay, so now that our update is done, we're gonna go ahead and connect. And let's see, we've got our calibration, our, our accelerometer looks good. I'll go to our configuration. Looks like everything here is looking good. Um, let me go ahead and just turn these off real quick and save this. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to go, well, actually, I just made some changes that aren't going to help you. So anyways, I want you to go to your CLI once it starts up, and I just want you to type defaults and hit enter, and that'll set everything back to the default mode. So the changes I just made should now disappear. Uh, and they did. Everything went back to normal, so that's how I can test that the defaults worked. I'd like to know now if your gyro is working or not. So um, test this out. Uh, Try that real quick. Let me know if that works to get your gyro back up and running. If not, we'll keep troubleshooting a little bit more. Um, it could be a bad solder on the gyro too, so let's just give that a shot and see what happens. Okay, if you have any questions, hit me up, Tark at CycloneFPD.com. Sorry, guys, just a quick video to help a customer out, but hopefully this will help you out too to try to set everything back to normal on your defaults, see if you can get everything back to working again. All right, talk to you soon. Bye.